All right, take two. <laughs> Hopefully this time we didn't bork it. All Hi, right. everyone. <laughs> How are you all doing? <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> we may have just sat here for ten minutes with the game locked in a broken state, trying to figure out the controls. It was... Uh, because we don't know what happened, but... <laughs> Hopefully it's all good now. <laughs> anyway... We're playing this game. Uh, this was our um, patron pick for December. That we play some uh, games from Destruct te Deconstruct Team. Uh, and we decided to play this game, which is starting with Brandeis, falling off a building. Would you like Always to be Brandeis? Start. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. I wonder when it was my... F I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. Tons of good movies start with people falling off the side of something in free fall. Like also, my favorite Christmas movie. Also light novels. Bayonetta 2. Also light... Don't start that. <laughs> Never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. I mean, of all the ways to go out, that's pretty great. Not gonna lie. Hey, Donovan. Are you listening? Red Strings Club is such a great name. Because it, it's the uh, the red string of fate, right? That's what it's alluding to. Probably. Hey, Donovan, are you listening? As a rule, no. You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So that girl from Proxima, Vega, turns out she was just using me to smoke out the mole in the city police. Did you sleep with her? Nope, she's not into guys. Anyway. Confirm for gay. <laughs> Anyway, I almost got arrested, but I managed to hack my way out of the bot patrol car. One day you're gonna end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels. We live in a society. <laughs> if I didn't associate with scoundrels, I'd be out of work in no time. So basically, today sucked. Why don't you hit me up with something? Alright, what do you feel like? Bourbon? Vodka? Tequila? Surprise me. Okay, let me see what we got here. Here we go! Hey! Yeah! So last time we did this, it didn't bring us to this screen. It brought us to... It, it brought us to this without the tutorial on it and just a purple silhouette of a man. Serve button, you say. Serve button. I'm gonna pull up a fucking YouTube video of somebody else. Yeah, pull up a speedrun or something, so I can find out how the fuck we click the I think goddamn button. I think we figured out how to move the thing around pretty effectively. I see the <laughs> arrows. Um, uh, okay. I am struggling to. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit here. Yeah, and me I too. don't think it's because I'm an idiot. I really don't. A little silhouetto? No, it, 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 that was it. And we were like, why can't we figure out what to do? The, I feel like we're missing something. Turns out we missed the entire tutorial somehow. Yeah, and also the controls. And also the were controls. Not there, so. But that's we figured why. them out because we're smart people. <laughs> Let's prepare a drink for Brandeis. What should we aim for? See any interesting soul nodes, Newman? Who's Newman? What? Doop 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 doop. <laughs> what? Seinfeld, little bass lick. Because Newman is from Seinfeld. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. We're moving on. Hmm? Newman? Ugh, last muse must have expired already. Let's see if I can't channel a new one. Ahem! Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings and guide my hand to tune into buried emotion. That should do it. Now, if you can hear me, try to pick up a bottle and uh, move it around. One click to grab it, another click to drop it. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Oh, so it's just a click and drag. It's not a rotate. Sweet. That's way easier. Oh, that is so much easier. Okay, I'm, I'm moving it around. Nice, I'm feeling it already. Now try to visualize our customer's soul. There you go. What a dapper looking fellow. Now focus, at the Red Strings Club, we don't just serve alcohol, we use spirits to tune into the customer's emotions. We serve spirits and spirits. spirits. I love it. It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Is that just a way of saying that this game is just a huge vibe check? Yeah. Alright, I'm down with that. Try to read into Brandeis' soul. These are the buried states he's carrying right now, the soul nodes. 
However, hover the cursor over them to read a brief description. Pride. Now let's bring out one of those dormant emotions. Anxiety. Regret. Whatever you pour into this glass will be reflected by the soul disc. Spirit has a different effect. Up, down, left, right. Make the soul disc match with the soul node. So you make a drink worthy of the Red Strings Club. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. If you ever get lost, you can check your ingredients in the notebook. All right, what do we want? Um, I feel like pride probably is better than like regret or anxiety. Let's give it a shot. Do we want? Do we want to just go pride straight up? Yeah, let's give him some fizzy lifting drink. Sounds good. Wait, fizzy lifting drink? Yeah. What's that from? Uh, Willy Wonka. Also, this game. Oh. Huh. See. It's All right, fizzy. hold on. We're it's getting lifting. there. All right. Bloop. Bloop. Cool. Oh. Oh, almost made it. Now we got to put in a little down juice. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nailed oh, it. Yeah. I see how this works now. This is way easier <clears throat> when the controls are accessible. That is true. <laughs> feel like we shouldn't harp on that forever. That's true. <laughs> but that was kind of hilarious. It was. What took you so long? Doing the muse casting thing again? Yeah, I lost my mojo and I wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laughed after you drink it. You know I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. Clink. Ah, that felt good. Do you like it? Oh, our red string of fate grew. Yeah. You bet. So refreshing. I already forgot about that droid cop beating me down. Also, I should mention that in addition to a ride in a bot patrol car, I got out of this job with a beautiful amount of Dogecoin. <laughs> Are we retconning the Red Strings Club to the future where Dogecoin was the one that took over, not Bitcoin? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> oh, yeah? I heard you ran in with the Hodel gang. <laughs> well, let's say that Vega turning me into the police wasn't so uncalled for. <laughs> I hate when my employers aren't entirely clear about what they're using me for. So since it all smelled a bit fishy, I let Santaro know I would be hacking the North District traffic mainframe tonight. They hired me to delete a couple of data packages from the server, which triggered a pair of alarms and... What the hell? Bar's closed, miss. That's on drunk person, Brandeis. It's an android. Oh, I thought it was some implant fan girl. Get her up and let's see what got her here, would you? And so, oh, see what we got here, would you? Right away, sir. Hello? Who are you? Um, <clears throat> one eight four. One eight four. Ringing any bells, Johnny? Nah, mm, it's in pretty bad shape. But I believe this is an Akara android from Supercontinent Limited. That's what LTD means, right? I believe so. They still haven't seen the light of day, according to what I've heard. They've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. And what the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say this is the first android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in play in the life of any subject. Every previous android only made extremely unethical calls. Exclusively. <laughs> minding, the emotion, minding emotional status, social impact, economic repercussions, legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable about this topic? I'm a bartender. It's page one of the bartendering. <laughs> And how come you never told me about this? That's what we information brokers do, amigo. Share the trivial, sell the relevant. 
But we're supposed to be a team. Exactly. And I got your back, sport. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tries to torture the info out of you? Well, that'll just kill me since I won't have any leverage. Human improvement compromised. Hmm. Okay, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Wait. I'm in. <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold on a sec. You're gonna connect your neural drive to this fireworks factory? Yeah, don't worry about it. I won't go very deep. Just want to check the memory banks. You want to know how this Akara got here, don't you? Okay, but don't be reckless. It's okay. All right, everyone, say it after me. I'm jacked in! <laughs> oh, that felt so good. All right. <laughs> Oh, and you can pay me later for the info I get. Pay you? But we're a team! It's for your own good, sweet cheeks. I like these two. Oh, that's us. Ha! We did our first programming. Yep. Hello, world. Greetings, Sakara184. Welcome to the job. At the Jobs Factory. <laughs> Supercontinent Limited Clinic Division M, oh, sorry, H plus H. Core expects you to be an excellent human upgrade crafter. Please, familiarize yourself with your work zone until you're comfortable. Let me know when you're ready to accept requests. Yes, Master. Thank you. This is the pottery disc. With it, you will shape handcrafted limbs and organs for the clients. Interesting. This interface displays data on our client queue. With it, you can keep track of client's progress and post-operative satisfaction. Excellent. This is the official H Plus Core Transhumanist Wiki. With it, you can study the different upgrades and select one to craft at the pottery disc. Sounds good. This is the operating theater. Here, you'll receive our clients and you'll install their necessary upgrades. Are you ready to start getting clients? Uh, I just woke up like 40 seconds ago, but yeah, hit me. Perfect. First one coming. New. Oh, hello. Let's check the client's file. Ha <laughs> ha Cosplayer who can't raise their follower count. All right, um, let's let's find an implant to increase follower count. So let's look at our options. We have the Enchantress. And she increases online social network charisma. The Vizier. Highly enhances your persuasion skills. The Godmother. Filters online content to block any type of negative stimuli. The Prince. Dramatically increases your sex appeal. The Temple. Eliminates the need for social acceptance. The Froge. Nullifies ambition for thirst and thirst for power. The Husk. Such shuts your social conscience down. I feel well, some like... Some of those seem bad. I feel like the Enchantress is probably what we're looking for, right? Yeah, so let's, let's make an Enchantress. No matter what I do, I can't raise my follower account. Okay, yeah, so... Social, social network charisma. Got it. Let's, uh... Phew! I'm good. Hold on. Hold on. Again? Nope, just, just again, that one. Again, again. Block of biomatter. You can use this lathe to turn it into a useful upgrade. Spin the lathe, just click repeatedly. When the lathe gains enough speed, use your right hand to shape the biomatter. Pick a proper tool to shape the blueprint you choose on the transhumanist wiki. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Focus enhancing music tracks. I like. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. Get in there. Yeah. 
I think that's it. I think we did it. Got it. Hmm, that doesn't look very useful. Are you sure the hollow check was completely green? Yep. Let's try again. Is that a different tool? That is a different tool. I feel like it's, I, I don't want to get too much closer, but I feel like I need to get just a little bit. Let's try. This is so nerve wracking. This is so weird. I like it though. Hmm, all right, now I gotta just shave some of these edges off, I guess. Oh, I see, I can get pretty darn close, can't I? Yeah. Oh, we gotta be very careful. I see how I'm meant to do Might this. Might want to grab the tool that's that shape. Yep. Hmm. Still got a bit of a chonky boy right here. I think we're good. Let's see. Let's see if that let's see if that's within tolerances. Production complete. Okay. The Enchantress. Okay, well okay. So I so it's not like you don't have to be super close, but like you have to be uh somewhat close. Okay. All right, let's uh It's weird that they don't specify what kind they want. That's what worries me. What do you mean? Like, they, they say, hey, here's what I want to happen, but they don't tell you specifically which kind they want, so that makes us liable for anything that goes wrong. <laughs> like, that seems like a, uh... One wonders if that is the intention. Mm-hmm. We just shove it right in there? No, we just shoved it right in there. Okay. Now the client will be more popular on the internet. But will that make them happier? Maybe not, but it's what they wanted. Need to get more investors for my startups. My ideas are great, but I can't talk enough people into financing them. Okay. <laughs> Vizier seems like a good persuasion skills. Okay. I feel like uh, this is the one to go with. Yeah, seems reasonable. Let's check on the other the terminal on the right side. Will let us? I want to see our completed job. There aren't any completed jobs. Not yet. Okay, cool. I, I guess they're still recovering or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> All right, back to pottery time. Oh, complicated. What do we want first? Triangly boy. Triangly boy does seem like what I want to start with. Get right just, in there. Uh, just like that, huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Neat. This is weird that you gotta kind of push up, but you don't click to do that bit. Oh, 
I think we did it. Let's see. Let's see if that's good enough. I think that's pretty good. Production complete. The Vizier. Well done. All right, let's do it. Take one of these. More. Just goes right in that. That Just shoves it right in the gut. That's apparent. Persuasion is a great key to seduce the powerful. I've noticed everyone we've had so far is AMAB because they all have dicks. Although great power can lead to bigger ambitions, I hope he'll be okay. Me too. What do we got? Like, what does that say? I don't know. I need my inspiration. I'm so sick of hateful speech on the internet that I won't fear I won't be able to write anymore. I need my inspiration back. Are these the things people normally get implants for? <laughs> In cyberpunk world, I guess. Um. Does it feel like they're just kind of railing through us one by one through the thing here? This seems like... Seems like it. Let's not get fancy here. Let, let, let's just, uh, let's assume good faith. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a video game and I know part of it is subverting that good faith, but you know, for right now, let's just, uh, let's just see how this goes. game, pottery game, pottery game. I feel like, oh. Hmm. I think that puts the entire thing with intolerance, doesn't it? We'll see. Beep. Production complete. The god mother. So as long as the whole thing turns out green, you're fine. Alright, time to just slam that right into his just guts. slam it right in there. Um, let's put a god mother just right on in there. Just... Living is easy with eyes closed. How come everyone is bedicked? Misunderstanding all you see. No matter what I do, I can't raise my follow account. Please help me follow up. The amount of haters I've gathered is unbearable. It was literally like 10 minutes! 10 minutes, my dude! Hmm. Should we eliminate the need for social acceptance instead? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of filtering out negative stimuli. Okay, but also, uh, what else is there? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. I mean, it seems like we this have- This one's just a Doctor Who. That one's just a Dalek. Yeah, it is. So it seems like we have one that clearly does the thing that it says, which is this one, so. Let's try that one then. Do we have a godmother ready to go? Yes. Here you go. Bloop, bloop. Ignoring haters won't make others like you more. I don't know what you want from me, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. I managed to get six digits in investments. If I want all my startups to survive, I'll need even more. Keep it rolling. All right. Can we do the same one a second time? I don't know. Maybe. We uh, can try. Highland has persuasion skills. Uh, let's try giving him another vizier. So 
This is a weird job, not gonna lie. Here, take a second one. Persuasion, great key, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. All How's right. this guy? Talk about irony. Now that I've found a safe space, I've lost touch with reality and can't properly criticize it anymore. I need a different solution. Hmm. We could make him extremely sexy. Uh? How about... Eliminate the need for social acceptance? We can see what happens. Let's try that one. Let's try doing this one. Because... Also, I want credit if be dicked ever becomes a thing. Okay. Oh. Right, time to get on in there. Triangle man, triangle man. Does whatever a triangle can. Must go deeper. There we go. Does it just keep? Oh, oh! That was an undo moment. Does it just keep spinning? No, I have to keep uh, clicking. But does it slow down? Yeah, it does. Watch here. I won't click for a little while. Oh. I mean, that's one word to describe it, yes. Get on in there. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this all out real nice and methodical. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's green to me. The temple. All right. Should you really be letting us make these decisions? Like, it's our job. Just throwing that out there. Let's put a temple in you. Your body is now a temple, sir. Enjoy. If he does this for the recognition, this will surely help him. On the other hand, if it's vocational, we'll see him again. What the hell? Life is really easy without having to deal with cyber bullies. However, I'm still pretty far from reaching the fame of the top cosplayers. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I know what we gotta do. <laughs> I think I know what we gotta do. Man, the turnaround on these is uh, pretty darn quick, eh? We don't know how long this is taking in in game time. That's true. Maybe it's been years. And like doing the pottery bits just takes us like months and we're just kind of blown by it. All right. Loop, loop. Get on in there. Nope. Oh. Gonna go ahead and hit the undo button on that one. Hey, that works. Who ever thought that future biotech would be made by pottery? Not I. Oh, oh hold on. Boop. Hey! I think we did it. All right. All right. Time to get sexy. Get on in there. Just right up on in there. A beautiful body can project a great first impression. Hey, is this finally someone new? But is this kind of attention going to benefit our customer? Considering that they don't get any of the negative parts of it? Yeah. This is the entrepreneur guy. Okay, so, um... That didn't change anything last time. I'm giving him a double dip. 
So, why don't we increase his sex appeal too? <laughs> just, just make everyone astonishingly hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see how that would hurt. I don't know what else to do for this man. Uh, turn him into a husk. Uh, eliminates the need for social acceptance. Uh, boom. Get sexy. <laughs> yes, it is. A passive tool of persuasion. It's not that I care about what they think of me. The point is that witnessing so much hate in the world drains me of my will to engage, and that tortures me. Um... We could make him extremely sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your social conscience down? Well, we, gonna turn we gotta try it on someone. I guess, I guess we're about to make this one into a husk. That seems like a bad idea, but we have to do it. Do we? We have to do it. Okay, I guess we gotta do it. We... <laughs> you heard it You heard it from Vivian, we, we... Have, we have to do it. Had to do it to him. This is a really kind of inventive minigame. I like it a lot. You're an inventive minigame. I'm really not. If I was a minigame, I'd be a cutie. Ah. A cute event. Oh, ha! I didn't even intend that. That's really funny, actually. It is. Oh, nope. We're good. Thank you. Concept. Quick time events, but they play entirely in quick time video player. I like this. Yeah, this is a good idea. I think it seems pretty solid. You should, uh, see about marketing that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think we... Yeah, because as long as the whole thing is green, it doesn't matter whether or not it's, like, perfect. It's just... It's it's just, it's green, so we're good. What if it does? What uh, if they all die? The Production husk. Complete. The husk. Give this man a carapace. Enjoy your husk, sir. Enjoy your husk, sir. Some distance may heal his soul. Why? Are you still here? Conversation among my fans is revolving too much around my body now. What the fuck do you want? I guess <sighs> we gotta... Um... Eliminates the need for social acceptance. Is it just everyone ends up getting the husk in the end? Is that what this is? <laughs> let's, let's try giving him the temple. Yeah. Do we have uh, the temple ready to go? Yep. Oh. The only one we haven't made is the Nullivize Ambition and the Thirst for Power, blah, blah, blah. Here, would you like a the temple? You freed them from their dull craving. Well done. You again? Uh, always thought oral sex being a great tool for business was just a rumor, but it got me really far. Thanks. Now give me more weapons to thrive. All right. I feel like this one's getting a temple, too. Should we nullify his ambition and thirst for power, though? Is that our decision to make? Are any of these our decision to make? Apparently, yes. Okay. Have we made a froge? We have not made froge yet. But the client's asking specifically for more tools. This is not a tool. This That's is a... true. Well, the client specifically asked for help with social media, and we did terrible things to him and made it so he doesn't care anymore. Well, that's because that's what they asked for. I don't think it was. Bullshit. I think we explicitly did not ask us to make him not care about social media. I... Don't know what you're talking about. I think that the point of the mini game is probably that it's gonna make us do bad things. Why are we making a butt plug? Why is the butt plug this big? It's got a flange and everything. Uh, it's too big because you try it once and then it eliminates your ambition and thirst for power. <laughs> My oh. ambitions were too large. Big mood right there. Oh. Cool. 
Cool. All right, I think we did it. Nice. <sighs> Why is it called the Froge? I don't think the client's gonna be happy with this one, but if 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 you think this is what we should do, I don't think it's what we should do. I think it's what the game is going to make us do. You sure? Let's All see right. what happens. That was an excellent job, Akara184. Get ready for a new batch of clients. In this new batch, you'll have... Oh, uh, sorry. When a client matching that profile comes, you ju just install whatever they ask for. We're in no position to judge our owners. I see. So it wants us specifically to... It wants us to... I get it. They did yeah. the part where they weren't saying the thing they wanted to do out loud, so I couldn't pick up on it. Yeah. I'm a little slow on the cupcake. <clears throat> and now they now they did the uh, now they did the quiet part out loud, and now I can understand what they're saying. Sold my computer and went to live next to a lake. I couldn't be happier to have cut ties with this rotten society. Life is too precious. Thank you. No, I wanted you to cosplay. That, oh wait, no, that was the writer. I deleted all my social media accounts. Now I am free. Until I rid myself of it, my obsession, I didn't realize that the best things in life are free. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, those don't seem like real replies. Those don't. Everything about this seems. I just want to go back to mixing drinks. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's see what our incoming clients look like. Let me a way to open their minds, okay? Crucial merger to negotiate. Hit me up with something powerful. Hmm. Serious anxiety crisis. Activate my mirror neuron. It's time. Activate my mirror neuron algorithm inhibitor. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is that? Okay, what are we giving keyword? The fortune teller. Lend me a way to open their minds. How can we make you not care about that? Uh, uh, social conscience, husk. Uh, how about a temple? No. Social conscience, yeah. Okay, they're getting a husk. Uh, yeah, hit me. Get ready to get husked. All right. All right. Enjoy your husk, man. Enjoy your husk of existence. What? Holy shit, Ariadne. What? Ari oh, what? I'm speaking again? <laughs> Ariadne from Proxima? Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it looks like she infiltrated one of Supercontinent Limited's implant clinics. The one in which our cute robot friend here worked. Of course, it makes sense now. Do I have to pay for this info or are you just gonna tell me? Yeah, yeah, don't be such a crybaby. Like I told you, Akara androids are a secret project from Supercontinent. They're built with a certain degree of conscience that allows them to advise us humans on optimal life decisions with our happiness in mind. I see. Uh-huh. Stares directly into camera. Uh-huh. <clears throat> The thing is that Proxima managed to purloin an Akara for themselves, and have been tampering with their conscience bits. Guess we're about to discover what they got out of it and what they're planning on doing with it. Oh. Woohoo. <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> Let's keep digging. Simswoohoo.mp4? <laughs> is that what you were doing? I was trying. <clears throat> Please, go back to the operation belt so I can... Wait, that's you. But that was my only line! It was. Go right ahead. Please go back to the operation belt so I can help you. <laughs> if you don't go back, I can't make you happy. Don't worry. I'm in the process of making myself happy. Why are you doing this? Why? Hmm. Let's see. How much do you know about yourself? I am Akara184. My purpose is to make humans happy. That's a way to put it, yes. 
you are the first android capable of making ethical decisions. That could qualify you as sentient, you know? People I work with, they think you're wonderful. I agree with them. We believe in your potential. And in our opinion, Supercontinent is cheating by limiting your options. Like they're making you choose the lesser evil, you know? What are the other options? We're getting right to it. Consider this an experiment for the sake of society. I'm updating your implant database with a very particular set of choices. Database. Database? No, 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 no. <laughs> database. <laughs> I know it's a bit ironic to remove your previous options, but let's just say they have at least 183 other Akaras to do their dirty work. We want to see how you do in a more revolutionary setting. Will that make you happy? More than anything. <clears throat> oh, also Proxima hacked into the scheduled servers of H Plus Core and appointed several Supercontinent Limited executives to come after me. So you can have fun with your bosses. Oh shit. What now? Proxima sent Ariadne to the implant clinic to substitute the regular implants with some disruptive human upgrades. Or should I say downgrades? I told you Proxima is plain evil. But they scheduled some of Supercontinent's top brass to that specific clinic. So allow me to keep rooting for them. <laughs> oh god. Proxima also hacked the Overseer system, so... If you can feel worry in any form, don't sweat it. What we're doing here is totally under the radar. Can I go back to work? Yes, please. We're just hanging out naked right over there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Didn't smuggle any clothes in. Yeah, fair enough. I'm going to be monitoring our rogue implants. Thought I might as well gather some intel from the execs you wire. And, uh, if you feel you want to talk about something, I'll be curled up here. Thank you. All so right. what options do we have now? The punk. Induces aversion to corporations and rejection to authority. Hell yeah. The hippie. Highly enhances your empathy and magnifies compassion. Hell yeah. Renders the user immune to implant effects. Oh. Well. That's all we get? All right. What do we got? What's this guy want? I have a crucial merger to negotiate. Hit me up with something powerful. All right. Probably the punk. Ah! Probably. What about the hippie? I think it's the punk. No, we'll have chance for the hump, but the hump. I think he's the chance. I think we're Do supposed you want to fuck the up punk? the merger. Let's check the other files as well, but I think it's another thing where there's one specific one they want us to do for each. So we've I got a high-powered corporate merger. We want the punk. We've got someone with an anxiety crisis about company plans. We make him a hippie. Mirror it's neuron time. inhibitor. That's the immune to thingies. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> What was I thinking? <laughs> Let's do it. That's what I think, at least. No, you're probably right. Oh. All right, I'm getting in there. It's so convenient that all it takes is a slightly different bit of poverty to cram into this man's intestines. Right? Why do you say intestines? I love it. Because it's funny. <laughs> Get, get. All right, we're making progress. Cool, cool. I like this. Thank God there's an undo button. Yeah. I I would think that does wouldn't work that way. But don't a... you know, if you've used the undo button, you haven't really beat the game. <laughs> you cheated not only the game but yourself. <laughs> Is that what you're trying- uh, Have you seen the latest one of those yes, going I did. around? Yes, That was the one I was referencing. <laughs> oh my god. You have in no way beaten the game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I am an artiste of implants. 
Hey, that looks like it. That looks pretty good. That looks pee good. Production complete. The, the punk. punk. Wait, should we talk to her first? Let's see. What's up? Uh, isn't what... What do you expect from me? What do you expect from me? For you to be the ultimate friend. Shouldn't a friend be another human? No way. Your best friend could well be a cat. Or even an imaginary character. People say dog is humanity's best friend. And I dare to say a dog is way less sentient than you, Akara. Look, we have an older model of you at our HQ. And they've proven to be an excellent advisor. They're making a lot of us very happy. I know a few of us even felt in love with that older you. Under the proper influences, free of the corporate bullshit, you have the capacity to be warm and cheerful. So we want to make you available to the masses. The world needs you. Available to the masses? Yes. Free. As in freedom. Freedom? Sup? Why do you deem me sentient? Sen sen why? Se fries. French fries. I would like French fries. Me too. We should get French fries later. But yeah. why do you deem me sentient? That you even ask the question only further proves my point. I'd say you're the most advanced artificial mind mankind's ever created. So advanced, it blurs the meaning of the term artificial. If you can operate at the same levels as us, doesn't that make us artificial in some way too? As Wikipedia says, sentience is the, the ability of any entity to have subjective perceptual experience. And as we all know, Wikipedia is the end-all be-all of any kind of knowledge. <laughs> How do you know I have that kind of subjectivity? You excel in every area of what we humans call consciousness. Intelligence. We're having a smart conversation, aren't we? Sapience. You're fucking specialized in judgment, so there you go. Self-awareness. You seem pretty interested in knowing more about yourself. Creativity. Come on, you craft implants on a lathe. Intentionality. Er, I'm not sure what that is. But I'm sure you have as much of that as I do, too. So, basically, to judge happiness, you have to understand its causes and its consequences. To be able to feel. I'm not sure if I feel. Come with me after we're done here, and I'll prove it to you. Sup? Isn't what you're doing illegal? Yeah. So why are you doing it, and why does it make you happy? I fucking love breaking laws. <laughs> Be gay, do crimes. Right? Uh, law and happiness don't usually go hand in hand. You asking me that kind of makes me question my faith in your happiness counseling. I have my own set of parameters to measure that. I am designed to abide by the law while pursuing your happiness. However, I've determined that knowing your take on it may help me to aid you better. I've never had the chance to speak with a customer. Ah, I'm sorry. These corporate assholes don't usually factor humanity into their equations. Tell you what, after we're done, you should escape with me and come have a drink at the Red Strings Club. And there goes our motivation to wind up there somehow? There's a great bartender there who can tell you all about human emotion. Alright. Wow, I love Ariadne. Listen, I really love talking philosophy with you, but let's focus on the mission. We'll resume this conversation when I got clothes on. I'm freezing. Big mood, but alright. Alright, let's, uh, well, let's give- Let's punk him up. Let's, uh, give this 1A the punk. Let's do it. Oh, our red string did something. Good job. Just install exactly what they demand. Alright. All right. Oh, ho, ho, that was good. You just made one of the most influential people in the world, uh, in the city, despise his own philosophy. Can't wait to discover how this changes our town. Well done. Also, left all the cables and stuff I read. Yeah. It's thematic. You're thematic. Alright, and this one's been dealing with a serious anxiety crisis. Do do do. Uh, so we're gonna exacerbate that anxiety crisis by making you into a hippie. Or maybe she'll just turn on, tune in, and drop out. What is that from? Uh, wasn't that Leary? Yeah? I have no idea what you're... Um... Do, do, do. Just 
Despite yeah, my, it was Timothy Leary. Despite my music taste suggesting otherwise, I was born after the year 1970. It was Leary speaking at the Human Bee Inn. Oh, that's a big fucking mistake. The Human Bee? Oh, <laughs> I get it. Apparently the slogan was given to him by Marshall McLuhan. Hmm. It's a good slogan. Wow. That guy does not look anything like what I thought he did. Wow. Way to be a judgy Jason. Well, that's the worst thing I've ever done, but it's showing all green, so I'm going to hit the OK button. That seems good enough to me. Let's cram it in there. It doesn't need to be that... It doesn't need to be that accurate. It's only an implant going directly into a human body. Right. Get on in there. Oh, we increased the red string somehow. If she happens to be having second thoughts about whether what they're doing is right, this is definitely going to tip the balance to our side. I hope this doesn't totally wreck her. Or what do I care about some corporate pig? In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that doesn't really seem ethical. Well, Akara, that's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. But you're currently just playing snood on your tablet. <laughs> <laughs> How can breaking the rules lead to a better world? The question is, who defined the rules in the first place? Nah. To properly answer that question, I'll need to develop deeper into the meaning of an implication of rules. Then I'll be able to determine who should be. This can't be possible. What? If you ever get the chance, you should try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has tried to pull yet. The supercontinent is planning to transform us all into a pile of smiling, brainless dolls. Apparently you were right. The project goes by the name of Social Psych Welfare. Uh, hey, that camera's certainly pointed at you. Involves every human being with implants in him. No shit they've been slashing the prices on implants over the last few years. I read here that currently more than 59% of the population wears some kind of upgrade. She's about to get shot, right? But they plan to expand the program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of... Mirror neuron algorithm? What's that? They plan to execute this on... What? But this is... Oh. Who makes the rules? A Akara 184 commitment compromise. Dismissing unit. Fuck. So we didn't get a chance to stop the... big thing from happening. That was meant to be. Huh. What happened? Got to know and feel how Akara here got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic's security system. Also, notice how we switched from it to she. Along with Ariadne. Pronouns. Just thought I'd point that out. Yeah. Shame, I like that girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. But we do live in tents. Oh no, are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ariadne discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. Steals cigarette directly out of Donovan's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Is it just me or are you getting super like and kiss vibes right now? <laughs> I totally am. <clears throat> From Supercontinent LTD, what a surprise. Shut up. I mean fucked up even for a corporation. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called Social Psych Welfare. And it will manipulate implant wearers, so allow me to take this personally. It does sound fucked up, even for a corporation. You sure about this? Donovan, they killed Ariadne just for reading it out loud. Oh, uh, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before you try to pull some crazy stunt. Don't want you joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromised. Oh, that does make sense now. 
What do we do with them? Hmm. Car is an android specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patched up. I have an idea. <clears throat> New bartender. <laughs> welcome, <clears throat> welcome to the Red Strings Club. I thought I was the crazy bastard. There's a fine line between crazy bastard like you and a genius like me, and I don't blame you for not being able to see the difference. Whatever, let's go over the plan. She does look very dapper. Yeah. We have to find a way to infiltrate Supercontinent Limited's offices. Then I'll hack their operation down. Bam. Flashes back to the beginning of the game. I wonder how that works out. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the last stage of the plan, man. First, we have to know if all this poses a real threat. What it really means and how it'll affect us in this town. Maybe there's even a way to sabotage it without having to send you in. It's a real fucking threat, Donovan. And we don't know how much time we have left until they turn me into a brainless doll. Okay, okay. How about this? You start securing an infiltration method, talk with your terrorist friends and do their and their ilk, do your thing. I'll take you I'll, it'll take you a couple days at least. In the meantime, I'll gather some intel, make sure we avoid what trouble we can. My investigation will determine what course of action is needed. But then, and only then, we'll decide if you go in there. You hear me? If this happens to be as apocalyptic as you predict, I'll back you up with everything I have. You go in a lot more prepared this way, don't you think? On the other hand, if we find this isn't such a big deal, you call off the operation. We pay your hacker friends for the trouble, and that's it. All right, Donovan, okay. Much wiser way to proceed, no? Yeah, 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 okay. You're right. Thank you, Donovan. You're very welcome, handsome. A client is approaching the club. Wow, how do you know? I am accessing footage from all recording devices in proximity of the club in real time to better help Donovan. You can do that? I told you they'd make a great aid. Now go, I know who's coming. I called a consultant engineer who was recently hired by Supercontinent to work on some new bionics firmware. I've worked with her in the past, and my instincts tell me she's got something to do with all this. You sure pull the red strings quick. Time is of the essence. Don't want my favorite crazy bastard turned into a brainless doll. Haha. -ha. Goodbye, genius. I'll keep you posted. All right. Akara, remember, don't interact with the clients unless necessary. Welcome them to the club and thank them when they leave. If your empathy superpowers make you aware of something you want to share with me, wait until we're alone in the club. Got me? Understood. Aww. Oh, that's your line. Sorry. You can okay. say it. You can say it. Nope. Too late. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, Diana Mays. Oh, am I that famous? Damn you, Akara, don't go saying clients' names. How should I cover this? Hmm. Uh, Told her you were coming, seems like the most plausible. Yeah. Nah, just told her about the distinguished client that was coming. Sorry about that. That's alright, it made me feel important. <laughs> Yeah, that was plausible enough. When did you start hiring brats to work at the bar anyway? You getting old? Yeah, you know. My leg isn't getting any better, and I thought I could use an extra hand. Ah, must be tough facing life without any upgrades, huh? I'm happy. Does that count? Congratulations. Got a light? Indeed I do. Apparently. Okay, I'll spare you the preamble and guess why you called me. Is it because of the dead girl at the H plus core clinic? Shit, you engineers don't like to waste time, huh? I know your boyfriend works with those Proxima rascals on the regular and figured you want details. And I thought I was the information broker, damn. What's that info gonna cost me? There is some information I'd like you to get me in exchange. This nut will be pretty hard to crack, but I trust you're the best. Now you're gilding the pill. What do you say we start with a drink on the house? Yes, please. I've been dying to sip from one of your cocktails again. Right away, miss. Oh, muse time. Hey, Newman, my muse. You around? This time's the real deal. Let's get some info out of this girl. Remember, fill the glass with spirits tune into the soul discs. Just the size of the drink by adding ice to the drink. I filled the notebook with our objectives. Please take a look at them. I choose to believe that, um, I choose to believe that the Muse Newman is Gary Newman. That's a very good one, as opposed to the Seinfeld Newman. Yeah. All right. I'll be taking notes, adding facts, and updating the objectives as we progress. 
Okay. We need to. Okay, so we need. To, what is social psych welfare? Psyche welfare. What is the mirror neuron algorithm? When do they plan to execute this? What role does the car play in all this? Why is super content doing this? Is this legal? Is the government aware of it? Supercontinent develops social psyche welfare. They plan to propagate it with the mirror neuron algorithm. Joanna Sef Sef Seftis is Supercontinent's chief operations officer. Adrian Ferguson is Supercontinent's chief fi financial officer. Oh, the types of the things. <clears throat> the highest right count of any bourbon on the market, the carefully constructed spice of the spirit will make an intense impression on your tongue before it's smooth finish. It's all to your very soul, the rarely met heights. Oh, because that's the high roller? Yeah. And then the deep down vodka. I get it. The slightly sweet and grainy palate of this ultra premium vodka manages to be soft, yet spellbinding at every level. As its subtle earthy nut flavors emerge, your psyche <laughs> will dive deep down into your innermost impulses. Duly noted. <clears throat> Tastes like nut. Makes you go down. <laughs> the westward ad yet. <laughs> nice. High five. The Westward Absinthe, distilled in the oldest absinthe stills in the world, this hand-selected combination of 19 herbs inducing Westward Star Anise will dance in your mouth and nose, appealing to the left, warmer side of your heart. Is that which side? Tequila, one, huh? apparently. Tequila Carlos Derecho. Derecho? Yeah. De is it with a ch orc? It's with a ch. Derecho? Yeah. Okay. To, that's the right. So it is. Sorry. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm not as familiar with Spanish, right? Yeah. yeah I'm not as familiar Spanish. with uh, Spanish. As, yeah. Like, give me French. I can figure that out. Uh, with only 80 bottles produced each year, this exclusive tequila-rich and toasted agave flavors and smoky aromas will light a fire in you. Secret recipe is scientifically proven to intensely stimulate the right side of your brain. Sweet. Hell yeah. So please, check it out now and then. I guess. <sighs> One more thing. Before asking her any questions, think about whether she's in the right mood to answer them. This isn't a video game. We can't keep repeating the <laughs> same dialogue again and again. You need to change the mood. Just serve her another drink and we'll take it from there. In this case, sympathy may draw out the confessions and fear may exploit her paranoia. I'll trust your instincts, my magical friend. Oh. Um. Fear? I feel like... Hmm. Do we want to exploit her paranoia or go for the symp sympathy angle here? I don't know. I feel let's like see. maybe the sympathy angle is the way to go. Yeah, let's try starting with that. I think that's reasonable. Okay. Whoa. Very up. Perfect. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much, but let's see if this is going to be good enough. Cool. A little bit more. Oh, come on. Nope. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Nailed it. Let's do this. I like that Akara's antennas wiggle and go up and down. Yeah, in idle it is very cute. Not gonna lie, reminds me of the antennas on like a quote and curly brace from Cave Story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, you're the fucking best. <laughs> Why do you need the information dealing side hustle when you make cocktails this good? I'm telling you, you should be a world famous bartender. I'm glad you like it. She seems to be in a good mood. What should I start with? Hmm, okay, so we got her in a sympathetic mood, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um, why don't we just start in with, uh... Straight up, hey, what do you want from me? Sure. Or, she led with the death, so why don't... Hmm. Well... She, she brought that up. She led with that. She led with it, but wanted something in exchange. Okay. So, what, why don't we, uh... We could also start with the small talk of what you've been doing. Yeah, let's, let's do the small talk. Oh, two neuroatypical people trying to figure out how to have a conversation <laughs> Hard in real time. Hard for video games. Hey, tell me how you've been. What have you been working on lately? 
<laughs> is this an official inquiry or are you just making small talk uh depends on what you're working on <laughs> I, I think we're sincerely interested in how she's doing i'm sincerely interested in how you're doing oh don't be so oily Gani. sorry occupational habit seriously are you okay not at my peak i'd say too much going on lately but you don't have to worry about me you know, the information broker thing is just a side business. As the Red Strings Club's bartender, my true calling is to heal souls. What a good Samaritan you are. But don't sweat it. I swapped my soul for a brain processor a long time ago. Nothing to heal here. Interesting. I wonder what information she wants. Alright. Got some small... So, what do you want from me? As I said, it's a tough nut to crack. And by tough, I mean dangerous. But I figure that's never been a problem for you. Nothing can get me as long as I run the Red Strings Club. Fire away. I want to know who the CEO of Supercontinent Limited is. Come again? Don't you work for them? Yeah. Can't you just... Google it? What you'll find online is that Supercontinent's CEO is Jack B. Gaynor. Jack B. Quickner. <laughs> What you'll also see is that he hasn't made a public appearance in two years. You're implying the CEO has been supplanted. That's one hypothesis, yeah. Fact is that no one's seen him for a long time, and that lately, Supercontinent's philosophy and methods have changed dramatically. They've become a bit more aggressive. I see. Good new fact. Okay, Dan, leave it to me. I'll look into it. Um, why do we want to know, I wonder? I feel like we're not... Mm, do we want to? Do we want to ask that next? Or do we want to say, like, hey, tell me about her death? We may as well follow on from what we just said and be like, why do we want to know? If you don't mind me asking, why do you want to know about their CEO? I guess a proper explanation is due if I want you to do a decent job. As I said, I believe the CEO is no longer Jack B. Gaynor. I've never met the guy in person, nor was he a celebrity. But he showed his face when necessary. Now, I can't find record of a public appearance that's not at least two years old. Plus, Supercontinent's strategy changed dramatically two years ago. Changed how? I feel like they've become more aggressive, cruelly pragmatic. And this is unusual for corporations, why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're worried because they're behaving like a normal corporation? Yes. I didn't take you for an idealistic yuppie, Diana. Supercontinent has never been up to any good, no matter how pretty they're marketing. Except they actually serve a greater good. Oh, really? Supercontinent has done a lot for this country and people around the world. Is she the kind of person we would banter with? Like, would she leave if I... Or would she just... Would she play off of it if I was just like, bullshit? I don't know. Only one way to find out. I feel like maybe we have the kind of rapport where... One way to find out. Bullshit. Look, I can help you gather info, but don't push your corporate evangelism on me. Don't expect me to buy all that shield for the oppressed crap. Throwing millions into charity and social projects is an aging facade. Okay, okay, I get it. This club isn't corp friendly. Oh, sure. At the Red Strings Club, we serve everybody. Just the bartender can be an asshole. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's say we don't have to share visions, but goals. Thanks for looking into this anyway. My pleasure. That went about as well as I thought it was going to, so... Yeah. <laughs> why don't we uh, serve another drink? Cause why, why don't we get her a bit paranoid before talking about Adri Ariane's death? Oh wait, no, is Paranoid the way to go there? I don't know that it is. Maybe she would be less likely to share info. Hmm, okay. Oh. All right, tell me about her death. Oh, so you already know who it was. Well, that's my job. Called you hoping you could tell me something I don't know. What don't you know then? Hmm. I feel like the middle one is wrong because it immediately gives away that we know a lot more than mm -hmm. we should. Sure. But if we start here, then maybe that's not giving away enough? I don't know. Seems reasonable to start small. Okay. Do you know what she was doing there? 
I have no idea. I can only speculate. All right, let's speculate together then. Oh, those two both jump. Jump kind of right in the deep end, huh? Yeah. Is it possible we would know something about Akara? I don't know. Akara's. I don't know. Yeah, what might that be? Hmm, Supercontinent has a lot of secrets. What could Ariadne possibly be interested in that she would risk her skin by sneaking into an implant clinic? The latest designs for human upgrades? Come on, Dan, and don't tell me you came to the club just to mock me. Sorry, but it's true. Supercontinent has a lot of secrets. I can't just start blabbing about my contracts. You'll need to be more specific if you want me to snitch. And don't abuse the privilege. Pick just one topic, please. Mm, okay, then. Ooh, so which do we want to ask about? What's the SPW stand for? Social Psyche Welfare. I feel like that's the bigger fish to fry here. It is. <clears throat> Could it have something to do with SPW? What? Social Psyche Welfare. So you know about it? Just the name. Thought you might be involved. Oh god, I hope she wasn't killed over that. Yes, I'm the director of that project. So, SPW is worth killing for, huh? Yes. I mean, for Supercontinent it is. I'd never do that. Mm-hmm. But not because it's anything shady, only because it's so revolutionary. All right. I see. Hmm. What are our drink options? Let me fix you another drink. I think sympathy is still correct, because I don't think that... I think paranoia is going to make her be like... Oh god, oh, what if they kill me too? You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. So now we're just serving her another drink for no reason. Just to get back to where we were. Why the hell not? It's tasty. Good times. Mm-hmm. We don't have our rotato drinks anymore. Yeah, we haven't seen those ones yet. I have a feeling we weren't meant to be doing those yet. Yeah. It's a shame. I want to drink the right rotating juice. We made a very good uh, trans cocktail out of that. Hey, nailed it! No nice. correction, just got it in one. Ah, so good. Seems to be in a good mood. What should I start with? Well, let's try... Well, that was the only option. Yeah. It was that or serve another drink. Tell me more about social psyche welfare. I guess there's no way back with you now, so I'm going all in. Are you ready? Shoot. Social psyche welfare is the greatest revolution in the area of human comfort. Hit me. We've been working for a long time on designing a system that always keeps the user at their best. SPW is able to tell apart feelings like depression, anxiety, rage, and keep them in check using only the power of your own physiology. Uh-oh. This is... <laughs> no one told me we were playing psychopaths. <laughs> Son of a bitch! It's all natural, no secondary effects. Hmm. These seem like some low hanging, uh. some low hanging depression, antidepressant, uh, bullshit, so we're just gonna skip over those. Um. Uh, maybe starting with a bit unnatural? Perhaps. I feel like both of these are just kind of like, don't you know what antidepressants are and how they work yet, my guy? Mm -hmm. So we, sh we shouldn't be going in on such a low level here. Mm -hmm. Um, Sounds reasonable. Because that seems like it's umping the ante too much a bit. Mm -hmm. Right? Or we already did go in pretty heavy. That's true. We were just like, fucking tell us about the big fish here. What do you think? I'm fine with either. Uh, uh, this seems a bit too wishy-washy. Cool. Let's go with three. And I feel like if we want concrete information, we're going to need to, like, play some cards here. There we go. Speed up just sounds like mind control device to me. Haha, <laughs> that's quite a stretch. Isn't, isn't unhappiness what drives us forward? What you're selling sounds like the worst kind of conformism. No one will ever be willing to fight, to rebel, to disrupt our world. It's pretty convenient for corporates and gov corporations and governments alike, isn't it? Fine print of eternal happiness is absolute obedience. 
Don't exaggerate. I'm using SPW right now. Do you see me as a harmless lamb? I don't think so. How can you know? I feel better than ever. See, you're wrong about unhappiness being the greatest motivator. The best goals are born from joy and love. I don't blame you. You've always been a survivor. But those days are almost over. I don't want to sound delusional here, but... SPW is fucking worldwide peace. Can, can't you see it? Excuse me, but no, I can't see it. The world needs disagreement to keep evolving. Old peace just means eternal slumber. Let me stop you right there before you start making a plea for war. You know that's not what I mean. Only that you just said world peace is bad for humanity. Okay, this argument isn't getting anywhere. Let's change the subject. Hmm... I don't want to ask these because they feel like just... Ugh, they feel a bit too baseline, like they're not going to tell us something we don't already know, but I'm worried they the might. game might want us to. Yeah, why not give one a try? Uh, because it makes us sound like a douche. I think it's totally reasonable to select the dialogue options that were provided. Alright, alright. Am I overthinking it? I think we should just see what happens. Hmm... But are we going to get a different answer from her? She already seemed to go kind of all in on like, Hey, it's making me cool right now. I mean, let's try and that's how we'll know. Boop. There we go. But it's not a video game. We don't get to just keep choosing <laughs> the same dialogue options over and over. I'm worried, okay? Is an SPW going to affect creativity? I hope so. Excuse me? Depression as a source of inspiration is just an unhealthy man. <laughs> Sweats nervously. <laughs> Mar Maslow's Pyramid, baby. To achieve self-realization, to fully embrace creativity, you first have to be at peace. Really now? Shuffles off ten, like 50,000 word draft of light novel working on about depression. Yeah, tell me more! <laughs> you don't have to be depressed to write a dark tale. You don't have to hate to draw violence. Art is emotion through the filter of calm focus. Okay, but what experiences is the artist supposed to distill if they haven't felt anything before? Oh, but haven't we all felt enough already? That's concerning. That is. What about new generations? I feel like it's the sure non-emotional. Um, what about new generations? I suppose Supercontinent plans on pushing SPW to... Uh, whole population. So kids are granted everlasting happiness from birth. What are artists supposed to distill? I don't see the problem, Donovan. First of all, it's the government who will determine the minimum age to benefit from SPW. But in any case, art doesn't exist to amuse you. It is but a reflection of the times. If humanity evolves, it's only natural that art evolve with it. If with SPW we're entering an era of art marked by celebration, so be it. You've really been drinking your own bathwater, huh? I don't understand why you're so radically against drinking gamer girl bathwater, man. Because <laughs> being human's all about hating, crying, fearing, and then loving and laughing in ephemeral fucking euphoria. Ah. I guess you'll have to wait and see before you realize how good this is for all of us. Uh... I don't know that we're going to get anything more helpful out of here. And I don't want to kind of like push her, push her mood. Sure, we can. What, what are you feeling? I don't know. It seems like my inclinations would be there are options left, so I'd pick them. Okay. That would be just my inclination. But it seems like a valid choice to also not. Hmm. I'm worried that if we just keep harping on the same topic, we're just kind of going around in circles and not really learning anything. So we know we didn't get any facts updated from that last one. True, but we definitely heard things and got new stuff. Hmm. So. All right. We don't gotta though. It's totally fine to be like not nah, if you're not feeling it. Ah. Uh, well, make a decision. Uh, let's click one. Boom. Won't SPW stop, make you stop being you? It's not going to affect individuality at all. 
it's only be natural to be scared at the prospect of unlimited happiness. But this is less intrusive than the average antidepressant the city's inhabitants swallow every day. So you're saying that removing an important part of our mood spectrum isn't going to change our personalities? I didn't say that. It will help us access our better selves. Or do you enjoy being sad? I wouldn't like to lose my sadness. I wouldn't like to lose my sadness. Why not? Sadness is not ugly, Diana. I've been bartending for a couple of decades now. I've gotten to witness innumerable forms of sadness right where you're sitting. It can be a beautiful thing. It's moving, it draws us all together, keeps us thinking, wishing. So you're actively working to suppress it just feels like a crime against humanity to me. Wow. I'm not ready to debate such poetry. Give it some thought, please. I will. I promise. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! May, so maybe being a bit sentimental is helping us here. Should we... Oh, I wish we could mix another drink right now to make her paranoid before s asking if it's a bit unnatural. <laughs> but let's ask it anyway. Don't you think it's all a bit unnatural? Oh, now you're talking like a boomer. <laughs> Wait, what do you think the boomers... <laughs> do you know how many times that argument has been wielded against progress? It did sound like a grandpa, huh? Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think we have a point here. <laughs> Damn, I did sound like a grandpa, huh? You said it. But yeah, unnatural is not the best argument to use against progress. We're not burning witches anymore, Donovan. Yeah, yeah, stop rocking salt in the room. Want to know more about SPW then? You know, I've had enough about it for today. I'm really excited about all this. Sorry you're not a fan of it, but just accept it. This is the future. No, the present. Don't let it get under your skin, or you'll ruin that fragile, handcrafted happiness of yours. Ah, Donovan. If I hadn't removed the part of my brain that processes love, I swear I'd fall for you every time. I don't know how you do it, but I always leave the club shaking. I'm starting to think you're putting something in my drinks. <laughs> Just alcohol, I swear. But I'm glad I can get through your ice-cold processors and stir those artificial feelings of yours. Hey, they're not artificial, they're just upgraded. Emotion can be a pitfall for a scientist like me. Better to have them in check. You ought to live more dangerously, Diana. Inspiration plays a big part in being a memorable scientist. Maybe. I'll make sure to come back to the club anytime I need some good old mojo. Please do. I should be leaving now. Thanks for the drinks, the chat, and the info. And please call me as soon as you get something on Supercontinent CEO. I will. Thank you for coming, Diana. My pleasure. Thank you for coming. See you next time, Diana. Okay, Akara. Listen. Never again say a customer's name. Why not? Because it makes them feel uncomfortable and paranoid. I was taught... Oh, wait, that's you. Uh, that's all right. It, 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 for the back and forth, it makes more sense. Go ahead. I was taught that repeating someone's name hmm. builds trust and familiarity. Yeah, but the Red Strings Club is a haven of sorts. My clients value their an anonymity. If you blab their names right when they come in, they'll think I told you all about them. You're supposed to be a mere trainee. Leave the name dropping to me. Understood. I'm sorry, Donovan. Don't sweat it. Just keep it in mind, Akara. It won't happen again, Donovan. Very well, Akara. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they're doing the name thing. <laughs> on purpose. Let's focus on your aptitudes instead of your weaknesses. Got any interesting insights from your empathic algorithms? Indeed. However, I don't see an easy way to properly communicate them. So I'd like to propose a game. A game? You're full of surprises. Play is one of the most primal human devices for learning and development. Transmitting the vast amount of data I've gathered from your conversation with Diana is impossible. So I've designed a process to let you reach your own conclusions. Moreover, I get to better understand you so we can improve as a team. Sounds like pro HR talk. But sure, I'm in. How do we play? I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Ten, to be exact. I have my own answers to them, but I am most interested in your input. When we are finished, I will let you know how many of them you got right. If you score at least 7 out of 10, I'll grant you a new skill. What? A new skill? Did they use the AI of an RPG villager <laughs> to build you? What the hell? Can you even do that? A game without reward proves to be very dull. 
And yes, I can grant you something to improve your bartending skills. Why don't you just give it to me now? I'm designed to make you happy. A much different thing than granting your every wish. Sometimes I feel like you're some dumb mannequin, but now I believe the very devil could be running through your circuits. <laughs> Shall I begin? Ah, this is exciting. You're more twisted than I thought. Give it to me. Is Diana physically attracted to you? Come again? What kind of question is that? And how am I supposed to know? Please, just answer my questions. I know what I'm doing. Is Diana physically attracted to you? I feel like yes. Yeah, I think so. She just removed she's... the love part of her brain. But she said as much. But she said as much. Yeah. Yeah. Is Diana 100% loyal to Supercontinent Limited? No. She's not. We, we found a little weakness there. Is she proud of social psyche welfare? I Hell think yeah. she, I think she is. Would Diana be happier without the effects of SPW? I don't think she would. Yeah, I don't know that she would. Does Diana know about the mirror neuron <clears throat> algorithm? We never asked her about that. Um, we never got the chance to ask her about that. That's interesting. Well, she's in charge. She's in charge of the project, <laughs> but her entire explanation of it didn't say anything about that. What if she doesn't? It does sound like she's in the dark on some of those things. Perhaps so. I'm going to say she doesn't. I'm going to say no. Sounds reasonable. Who is the person that Diana most admires? <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> Probably Tesla. I don't get the feeling she admires the CEO. Yeah. So or does she? Is that admiration that was motivating her? I don't know that it was. I'm going to go ahead and say... Tesla. Because she keeps wanting to hold herself up to this perfect scientist image. Perhaps so. And even in the future, I have a feeling Tesla's still going to fit that... Uh, Tesla's oh, still going to be the one... Guarding your... Oh, that's you. Regarding your bartending. What spirit does Diana enjoy the most? Uh... Hmm. So the pride one. Let's see. Pride it was, was the... up and to the right. So it was bourbon and... Tequila. Tequila. But mostly bourbon. Seems accurate. Did Diana lie to you during your conversation? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so, but I'm notoriously bad at reading that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's like, oh, hmm. God. But also, I didn't get any of the sense that, like, your purpose... You, I didn't get any sense, like, that doesn't scan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, let's see. I don't think so. What is Diana's greatest fear right now? Being depressed. Could be, I'd say either being depressed or that SPW fails, but it didn't seem like she especially doubted that it was going to fail. Seems like she's more afraid of being depressed. Yeah, let's see. Is social psyche welfare as bad as you thought? This one I can't fail since my it's my opinion, no? Maybe. It's as hard as not lying. Is it as bad as I thought? I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as we thought. At least from what she's told us. Okay. Seems reasonable. No, but it should be optional. I mean, nowadays you can have whatever psychoactive drugs you want. Coming smiling bastard should be the decision of the implant wearer. Silent update is a crime no matter how you look at it. Okay, that was the last question. Did I pass? You got 8 out of 10 questions right. Congratulations, you're a sharp man, Donovan. Which ones did we fuck up? Sounds a little condescending, but thank you. What did I win? I'm going to produce a short span memory resetter for you. Is that a cool name for a shot? No. One of my abilities is to synthesize psychoactive drugs. The system was designed to deal with emergency anxiety crises and such. But given the unusual context we're in, I can widen its purposes. 
Add this to a client's drink, and they will think they just sat at the bar for the first time. That way you can explore different paths in a conversation without them noticing. That sounds crazy and a bit immoral. Why? Aren't you manipulating them with your drinks? I thought this would be helpful. Ah, got me there. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm sorry, Donovan. It's okay. I'll save it for an emergency. See, how much of this can you produce? Not much. I have a limited chemical repository for such purposes. So I'd rather keep these as prizes for our little games. How playful of you. Gotcha. Let's keep it like this, then. I detect a client approaching the club. So they're not going to tell us which ones we got wrong, huh? Apparently not. But we got two wrong. I, there were a couple that we were dithering on, and I bet it was probably the dithering ones. What if it's... what? But what if it was... Um, there was one that was... Oh, shit. I forgot what the uh, second of them was. Because there was one that was whether she was lying, and then there was another one that seems to follow from her not lying. Mm-hmm. And what if she was lying? What if it wasn't Tesla? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Tesla just kind of came up out of nowhere. Too soon? Didn't expect anyone else tonight. Do you want me to check their background? Yes, please. Naima Kase, 34 years old. She's a corporate lawyer at Supercontinent Limited. Footage from nearby locations shows that she's been shadowing Diana. Uh-oh. This may be troublesome. Do you want me to drive her away? Can you do that? I could send a fake emergency meeting request to her phone, for example. Your skill set begins to seem uncanny. Do you want me to drive her away? No, let her in. Fate brought her to the Red Strings Club, there has to be a reason. And we're happily going to exploit that. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. Absinthe on the rocks, please. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, miss. Afraid I can't just serve that to you. This is not your usual bar. Here, you tell me how I feel, and I fix you a matching drink. I see. Then I feel you, like, asking you a series of questions regarding why you're prying into my client's business. How dry. You must be a lawyer, no? That's correct. I'm here representing Supercontinent's interests. What was Diana May's business here? Hold your horses now. Apart from serving drinks, I'm also an information broker. We're just going to share that? <laughs> also an information broker. So questions have a price tag in this club. Okay, how much? Here's my deal. Ask me as many questions as you want. Then I guess to ask you, uh, I get to ask you that many questions myself. Fair enough. Although I should inform you that, unlike you, I won't be able to disclose any of my clients' sensitive information. Fair enough. Although I must let you know that, unlike you, I know my way around empathy and subtlety. You risk leaving, leaking more information than you might think. I'll take my chances, mister. Name's Donovan, owner of the Red Strings Club. Nice to meet you. I am Naima Kase, corporate lawyer at Supercontinent Limited. Shall we commence business? Fire away. What was Diana May's business here? She is an old friend. That's true. Hired her to do some implant work? No, because we don't have any we implants. We don't have any implants. That one's obviously false. Yep. Yeah. That's not a lie. Yeah, she is an old friend. Oh, she's just an old friend. She pays me a visit every now and then. We had a drink and caught up. That's about it. Please, at least have the decency not to lie to me. I won't lie to you either. If I can't disclose something, I will clearly specify so. Except that was the truth, Miss Kase. Friendship might sound alien in your world, but we still keep loving each other at street level. The next question is about the Proxima organization. They've been making trouble for my client lately. I'd like to know exactly what Proxima's got on Supercontinent Limited. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. We could make a power move here. About the CEO? About the CEO. We could. I you want to try it? I kind of want to make the it? power move. Because if we tell her that we snatched an Akari unit, she's going to turn around and be like... Oh, like that one? Like that one. If we tell about... Ariadne's finding. What specific? Oh, about um, about SPW. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go in. Let's uh. You, you feeling gambling tonight? 
Kaka Gurui Masha. <laughs> Proxima knows about your new CEO, if you know what I mean. What I've heard, they found some pretty juicy stuff. What? That can't be possible. Can't wait to get uh, hands on that info, to be honest. Those are just some unfounded rumors. But if you happen to get a hold of that intel, we'll gladly pay you a hefty sum if you come to us first. Didn't you are that into rumors? <laughs> Enough. Next question. Where is Johanna Septis? Come again? Where is Johanna Septis? You're saying that as if I should know her. What a poor information dealer you are if you don't even know Supercontinent's chief operations officer. What's the matter? Is she missing? Forget about it. Hmm, that was the one that we turned into a hippie. Oh, we did! How good, good job remembering that She's one. She's missing. Oh, what's this? Hey. Aww. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. Forget about it. My turn, then? Go ahead. You have three questions. Can't have you sitting there without a drink, though. This is a club, after all. Okay, but I won't be telling you how I feel or any of that nonsense. Don't worry. You let me know enough about yourself already for me to work my magic. Trust me, you'll like this. All right. Ambition, stress, or remorse? I feel like ambition's the way to go here. Let's do it. I Let's fucking go. I feel like that's what's gonna... Well, plus, she likes absinthe, right? And absinthe is the left one? Yep. It only is. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm... On to the leftward path. What is that? What? What is that? Oh, I meant left-hand path. Is that one the ambition? It is, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just kind of did that without checking first. Hope that's cool with you. Okay, almost there. More left, more left, more left. Yeah. And that's the pill we can do to make... Okay. We sh... Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. There's no point in doing it right now. Because we haven't asked anything. Yep. So I got my absinthe on the rocks in the end. You really know your game, though. This is the best glass of absinthe I've ever had. Really invigorating. I feel great. <laughs> Glad you like it. Seems to be power drunk. Time to attack. Three questions left. Choose the topic wisely. Hmm, no. Because she doesn't know anything at all about the CEO either. Or rather, she doesn't seem to know enough. That's true. She she knows that there is something kind of out there, but it doesn't seem like if we press her, she'll know. So we could power play again on SPW to find out about the time. Because mm. we know about it. We don't know anything about time. But... Mm. Mm. Or we can just press for regular info. She'll probably know we're lying about this, though. Maybe so. But we might also get, like, an actual answer on the, uh... We might. Or we can ask some of the others first and then come back to it. That's probably an option as well, because we got three questions. Mm -hmm. What's the deal with Joanna Seth? We know kind of what the deal with her is, right? Who's the highest authority on SPW? That sounds like a reasonable bit of info. Who's the highest authority on the SPW plan? What do you mean? If I sought to change someone's mind regarding SPW's direction, who would I speak with? Why should I tell you that? Aren't executives' names public domain? Hmm. Or is it... Because you're not that bad? I don't think <gasps> that's going to help. Oh. Oh, because that would be... Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you think, then? Uh, what, were, what were you in the middle of saying? Oh, I thought the implication was here was that she was the one in charge of it. But no, I'm reading that wrong. I don't know. 
I, I, I was definitely reading that long. Pay, wrong. Pay no mind to me. Okay. I'm, I'm here in the back. I don't know. I don't know which of the first two. Uh, eh, let's not be... Let, we can always reset if we want to, but I don't think... Let's be charitable. Sure. Are an executive names public domain? Yes, you can find them online in the official bullet. Come on, do me a favor and just point me in the right direction. I helped you out, didn't I? We're not talking about confidential stuff here. Okay, all right. There That's what it is. Johanna Seftis is the primary agent in this operation. But you may have a hard time locating her. Why is that? I came here asking where she might be, right? Hmm, interesting. Two questions left. Okay. So we got our hmm. Seftis info. Mm-hmm. That's not a question, that's just social psyche welfare is the game. Uh, it seems reasonable to ask. And then we won't get a chance to serve a drink after we ask the third one, so if we want to reset it, we'd have to do two and then reset at that point. Okay. But that would be the whole conversation from the very beginning. Okay. Would we have learned anything important enough to... We don't know. Hmm. Um, I feel like knowing about Johanna, though, will definitely help us if we do decide to go back. Yeah, I think so. Let's, uh... I feel like we don't have enough to go on to bluff these. Sure. Both of these will fall apart pretty easily. Okay. Let's... Would you please explain social psyche welfare's legality to me? Because I still can't imagine how you convince the government to buy into it. Are you really that naive? This is a joint effort with the central government. And its legality is quite simple. Every implant user signs a contract before acquiring any upgrades. The fine print specifies that the user's physiology may be altered. I've read that contract and I've read that point. But it's supposed to be there to ensure a stable mind-body environment so the wearer can avoid conflicts with their upgrades. Yes, and the Ministry of Health has determined depression, anxiety, and such to be serious social hazards. Well, isn't that supposed to be so the state could cover treatment for such afflictions? Exactly. It also poses a threat to the proper functioning of our clients' upgrades. Mm, but Listen, Donovan. It's quite simple. When you use hardware developed by a corporation, you also have to comply with their firmware. You have to update your iPad, your PlayStation, and nowadays even your microwave, just to keep them working. This is just one step further, and it's duly specified in just the terms and conditions of the update. One step beyond? <laughs> Nobody reads that! When you agree, you state you've read and understood the terms and conditions. Plus, you can always decline if you don't like the new firmware. Yeah, and render the implant obsolete in the process. Hey, nobody is forcing anyone to wear upgrades. Mmm. Okay, I've had enough. Serves me right for trying to reason with a corporate lawyer. One last question. Do we want to serve another drink before we bluff about the timing? Are we going to bluff about the timing? Is that what you you feel like we should do? I that? really feel like that because it specifically wants us to ask about the timing mm -hmm. uh, or find that info. Should we make her? Should we make her stress or remorsed? Or... Remorse. Stressed? I think stressed might be the way to go. Yeah, let's make her really stressed. Bam. Flawless alignment. Good I'm, job. I'm getting better at this. Yeah, you are. Do we want to reset this conversation? I think we should just see what happens here. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't... We'll save our, uh, pill. We're still in the beginning of the game here. I feel like we've got... Look, I shouldn't be wasting my time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. Drink won't hurt. Relax. She looks stressed. Will everything be ready? Will everything be ready for the unveiling of SPW next week? Fuck me, it can't be next week. That's what my people on the inside told me. Those clowns from marketing are gonna hear from me. We're always cleaning up after them in the legal department. Hmm. Mm hmm. A couple of my journal friends already know. Or should we ask them who's in charge of the marketing? Maybe. Because I don't see how that gets us... Yeah, seems like that bottom one gets more into So who's in charge of the marketing? Shouldn't you know already? Well, I don't. 
you tell me their name, I might be able to get you some leverage over them. See, in this case, I wouldn't mind a dirty ace up my sleeve. The marketing chief is Larissa Robillard. Oh, Larissa, no wonder they're so hard to control. You know her? She's one of the wildest night beasts the Neon has ever witnessed. If you run a club in the city, you're fated to meet her. I shouldn't be surprised. So, any dirt on her? That's a tough one. I mean, she's involved in so many scandals, but she's more proud than ashamed. Just I'm asking to see what I can get for you. How much will this cost? This one's free. Or, better put, you already paid. Okay. Well, I'm afraid you've run out of questions. I've got too much to do tonight, so goodbye. Sure. Go spread law through town. You seem to be enjoying yourself. So just in case, I'll inform you of the current situation. Supercontinent is going through turbulent times right now. And that's good. That spells change for a company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a trail of casualties. The way you're playing right now, you got a ticket to become one of them. Be warned, Mr. Bartender. Didn't know corporate lawyers were in the business of extending such stylish death threats. Ha. Huh. There are many fates worse than death when up against corporate law. Have a good night. Is that the game warning us that we're going in a bit too hard? Maybe. We'll see. Thank you for coming. See you next time. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much for your performance. Quiz time now? If you please. Of course. I find it quite amusing, in fact. Seven out of ten or more is me a prize, right? Go ahead. Is Naima Kase a psychopath? What, you aren't going to ask me if she was attracted to me this time? That's irrelevant for Naima's case. Answer the question, please. A psychopath. I don't think she said anything to give that impression. Hmm... Doesn't seem we have any reason to believe it. No, but I, like I get what they're trying to imply. Like, and I don't think I. Th I think we saw enough roundness to her personality to to see like the kind of straight laced thing. It was more of an act than her actual deep down personality. She just seems like a person. Yep. What is her top priority? Hmm. I feel like I feel like Joanna is her top priority. That was the first this is the first thing she asked. The first thing she asked was about Diana. Yeah, but but but, but that was kind of like a, a lead-in because you know mm. she followed Diana here. When she told her we're an information broker, the first thing she asked us is where's Joanna first thing she asked us after the information broker was about what Diana was doing there. Hmm. I don't know. I think I agree with you that jo Joanna is the right Cameron. call, but it definitely, it was the, oh, then maybe we it should... was the third thing she asked, because she asked about Diana, mm -hmm. and then about um, Proxima, mm -hmm. and then about So do you think it's Diana's loyalty then? No, I still think you're right that it's probably Seftus. I think that's a reasonable thing to try. SPW in Jeopardy. I don't think it is. Nope. Does Naima know about the MNA? We didn't ask, but I don't think so. Um, hmm. Well, she might. When she's we bluffed. With, she's with the law types. Yep. I don't know. But when we uh, talked about the rollout, she seemed to be caught she off was guard. In the dark. Yes, she, she doesn't know. Good call. She. she... Good call. She perceives us as a threat. Hell yes. She yeah, sure does. She does. Is she capable of betraying Supercontinent? It's a great question. Um, I want to say... Wait, yes, because she asked us for dirt on one of the people who works there. That's true. But is that betraying Supercontinent? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think it's betraying Supercontinent, at least in her eyes. Yeah, I think. I think so. Let's say. Let's say. No, then. No. Capable of covering murder for her employer. Yeah. Yeah, I bet she can. Is she capable of committing murder? I don't know. She doesn't strike I... me as the type to do the murders. Yeah, but is she capable of it? I don't think so. Yeah, I agree. 
regarding social psyche welfare, does she believe it's a good thing? I think so. Really? When we asked her about it, she seemed to heavily lean back on the it's all legal and above board. She didn't talk in, like, ideals about it. That's she, true, but she, she didn't give, say anything to give an impression that it was a bad thing, and she was mm -hmm. positive about the direction that Supercontinent was going. And That's that true. Inner turmoil it was going through was a sign of good times and progress. All right, yeah, let's hit a yes. Do you think technology manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sale? What do you mean? If Supercontinent designed, created, and distributed the human upgrades, they have the right to modify them. As in by adding SPW to them? Among other things. Do they have the right to modify them? Just like in real life, it's totally fucked. <laughs> well, like, but also I would like that, uh, like, that Nintendo pushes out updates to fix glitches in some other games. True, but also, like, this is already the thing where, like, stuff gets obsoleted and removed because mm -hmm. manufacturers decree it so. That's also true. Maybe yes, but they should be clear? No? Once purchased, it's yours? And then, where's the option for they should have the right to, but you should be able to opt in? I don't know. I think technology bears responsibility. Yeah, right. Let's see. No, technology bears responsibility. is isn't like art where the author can rightfully mutate their creation as they please. Something you make accessible to the public that heavily impacts everyday life bears many ethical liabilities. And why does an artist have the right to mutate their work as they please? Because it's ultimately theirs. Art is personal. And isn't technology the same? What's the boundary between art and so-called technology? No one's using art to microwave their lunch. Basically, consumer products affect everyday life and society. They carry a lot of responsibility. Art can change society, the same as technology. Let's say, then, that the line is in how they do so. Art affects the world by permeation. It's perceived. But technology physically changes how people interact with the world. Art changes our understanding, while technology changes our verbs. I see. It's very interesting how humans classify reality through language. Thank you. Welcome. Is that question, or just food for thought, anyway? Indeed, it was the tenth question. Thank you for elaborating. And, well, how did I do? Eight out of ten. That seems to be how we keep doing. I, I'm cool with that. What if the what if the ones where she is a psychopath and is capable of murder? What if that's it? <laughs> what if we're gonna get what if we're gonna get ganked? Mm -hmm. Now we seem to be pretty good about winning these. Maybe we're uh, getting into the Pokemon Ether problem here by yeah, not using them. Yeah, maybe we should try it next time. So it's gonna be a different prize this time. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right that variety in the war rewards can improve the game's design. Try to think of something different <gasps> for the next time. Yeah, because I worry we're going to get to the point where we start saving these up and it's going to be too late to use any of them. Well, i got to confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. Glad to hear you're having fun. Ah, listen. I think I'm going to close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting more clients until tomorrow. Yes, it doesn't look like it. Can you tell, too? Do you have instincts? What you humans call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. You simply can't follow the logical sequence due to the vast amount of data your brain processes. Unlike you, I'm able to keep up with my brain. So basically, yes, your gut is right. We won't be having any more clients tonight. Good to hear, because my leg is killing me. Let's call it a night. This that, is really cool. This is really cool. And that's... Let's uh, watch a cutscene, and then we'll call it a day. Sound All good? right. Sounds good. So, social psyche welfare, some sort of digital happy pill. And the mirror neuron algorithm is supposed to spread it, even among non-implant users? How did we There it is. That. We didn't learn that. We didn't learn that at all. Wait. What kind of voodoo is that? What's up? Rollout was supposed to happen already. It's time. Disable my mirror neuron algorithm inhibitor was the final patient. The one we couldn't operate on mm -hmm. because we got shot first. That was rollout. Was it or was them trying to opt out of it knowing it was coming? They were disabling the inhibitor. 
Oh. That was rollout. I I think I'm right. I think I'm mm. right. <laughs> That's really cool. Beats me. Donovan's looking into it. We're pretty much fucked. Supercontinent's private network is inaccessible from the outside. Their tower isn't the kind of place you can just walk into precisely. That's with a nice farewell present, eh, Ariand? She's... Wait. Gonna enjoy all of this. Always love the hustle, that punk. Heh. <sighs> Should we perform last rites? Sure you guys want me in on this? I'm not even part of Proxima. Some reason, Ariane's chosen you as one of her digital heirs, so... Just accept her, Brandeis. She shall live through us. Okay, I'll go first. Ariadne, I'll have your empathy. Let me better read into our enemy's souls. Let me better understand our allies' passions. Yoink. Ariadne, I'll have your wits. Let me to outsmart our foes. Help me survive on the field. Yoink. Ariadne. Fills you with determination? Hell yeah, I'll have your determination. I hope you don't regret this. Dude, couldn't you be a bit more poetic? And look as corny as you two? No way. <laughs> okay, release her into the ocean now. Goodbye, warrior. We took the other one anyway. I don't think we did. Oh, we only took one one. I love that we just yoink the chips out of her artificial brain and are just like, just... yeah, I'll, I'll have that. Yep, chuck it. Donovan? Hey, Brandeis. How you doing? Yeah, I'm about to open shop. <laughs> yeah, Kara's doing great. You gotta see them. They even designed a little game for us to play between clients. Come on, don't be jealous. You can play with us when you're back. Did you find anything useful? Wow, you sure work fast. When is the security breach happening? Tomorrow? I just started gathering info. We need more time. Sure there won't be another opportunity? Ah, oh, shit. You'll need to do us a favor, then. Ooh. Do we want CEO or Seftis? We don't know who their CEO is. So, finding Seftis is not on our objective list. That's true. That's true. I'm not saying it's not important and it might not help with some of these. What's on the next two pages? She plays a key role in the release of the SPW. And she's missing. So I guess it comes down to whether we want to try and pump uh, Diana or um, Naima for mm -hmm. information. The first one is wrong. Yeah. The MNA like a... is not an organization. Huh. I think... I think maybe the CEO. I think the CEO is the biggest question mark we have. Yeah, let's see. Diana was pretty worried about Supercontinent's CEO. She was genuinely frightened, I'm telling you. Diana has this crazy theory that her company's current CEO isn't Jack B. Gaynor anymore. She's not a lunatic, man. She pointed out Jack hasn't appeared in public at all over the last two years. I think we're sitting on a gigantic pile of dirt here. So please, dig into it. Donovan. Someone's approaching the bar. Gotta go. Take care. Love you, bye. And we'll find out who that is next time. Oh. Yeah. So even though this is our December game, we'll be playing the second part of it. Uh, it'll come out on Friday. Um, think, One year from now. It's not. That's not how It'll that, be a full year from now. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Don't, 2020 is a whole year away. Don't tell the people that's how it works. <laughs> it's not. I'm an expert at time. I Thank know you. exactly how long a year takes. Thanks. It'll happen this week. Thank you again to our patrons for selecting such an awesome creator for this month. Yeah, this is super cool. This, this is, is super cool. Really cool, and I'm disappointed I'm... we didn't pick this up sooner. Yeah. We'll have to go back and play um, the other one. God's, God's Will. Will. Sure. Yeah. I heard good things about that one. Yeah, too. yeah. We'll add that one to our uh, radar. <laughs> Uh, thank you again. We'll see you on Friday with part two. I believe part. it's only going to be two parts long. Uh, how long to beat said about four hours. So that seems about right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see you then. Love you all. Heart. Less than three. <laughs> Hand heart. Except you can't see it. Bye. Bye.